Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Olena and I'm super duper duper excited to have you for this video because we are going to be un unpacking a Newly subscription. What is Newly? Newly is basically a clothing subscription service to where you order six, six items per month and that is $88 plus tax, which comes out to be about $96. And that includes your shipping, your dry cleaning, your damages, anything. And you do rent these clothes for one month. However, if you really love a piece, you can actually buy it at a heavily discounted rate. So I'm really excited because this is my first month doing any kind of subscription. I get to try six pieces of clothing per month times 12, that's 72 pieces of clothing per year that I get to try that are new and trendy and happening. And I can always just trade them out. I can always, you know, try new clothes. It's like I have a new half closet. I don't know how big my closet is, but I have a new like selection of clothing to try from. Anyways, I'm getting way too rambly and I just want to try on these clothes So I did get this bag and it's a reusable bag, which I love that that is environmentally friendly and, um, and I already get my I got my return envelope here so I can just stick it on top um, and I have my Six pieces of clothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my measurements right here so you will know exactly what body type I have my bust waist hips ratio and the sizes that I ended up ordering which a few of them were wrong but I learned that after I had already placed the order so they're probably gonna be small but you know there is a learning curve especially with your first month like there's a learning curve. What's really cool about Newly is they are owned by the same company that owns Urban Outfitters, Free People, and Anthropology. So anyways, I'm gonna show you how these pieces of clothing look on me versus how they look on the model and uh, give you my honest thoughts. So let's dig in and try them on. All right, let's get started with the first pair of pants. This pair of pants I actually wore pretty often. And as you can see, I got it in a medium and they were originally $89 from the brand Lioness. The texture and feel of them, it's a little bit scratchy and rough. Um, so I wouldn't recommend this for warm weather. I would recommend this for early fall weather. And the fit was surprisingly pretty good. I'm usually a large, sometimes an extra large but the medium fit because I read their recommendations and their reviews from uh, past wearers and this is what they're supposed to look like on the model and that's what they look like on me now on the model it looks like they're kind of like low rise maybe mid rise but for me they were above my belly button they were more of a high rise pant uh, they were super comfortable, super flowy. I enjoyed wearing them to work uh, with lots of movement uh, on my job. And yeah, I just really enjoyed the pants. And they're kind of classy and they match with many things. Although I wore white mostly with these pants. And the pant is pretty long, so I would wear a heel with them if you're not going to be working with them. And as you can see, they're pretty see-through. So I would recommend getting... A nude color underwear so the next is a pair of pants from blank NYC never heard of this brand but really really nice quality pant and yes they didn't fit me because I ordered them a size too small and you can see what they're supposed to look like on the model and what they look like on me which is basically you know kind of similar they're a little cropped uh, pant and they make your butt look good <laughs> um, and you can see the bottom is a little can't think of the word frilled but I know it's not frilled can't think of the word please help me and write it in the comments 
The next pant is a corduroy pant, and I wear these all the time. Scotch and Soda is a pretty nice brand from Amsterdam. I have a friend who works there. Um, so usually their pants are about 200 bucks. As you can see, this pair is 175, size 31, which is about a size 12 US. And they fit me great, and I was happy very happy as you can see that these pants actually fit me i was like yay i can wear something um and you can see they're of a straight leg pant which is great for those of us who are mid or plus size and who are more of a pear shape body which is what i am which means your shoulders are smaller than the bottom side of your body um so yeah and they are corduroy. I did not know that. On Noli, they did not say that they were corduroy pants and you couldn't see it in the photos. So I was really surprised to see that they were corduroy when they were delivered, but I was very happy either way. Wrangler, pretty familiar brand. Uh, this is a pair of shorts. As you could see, they are more of like a jean kind of feel to them. They're not super soft because they were a brand new pair, so they haven't been worn in. And it's the same kind of fraying um, at the bottom as the previous pants. And unfortunately, I ordered them a size too small. So I learned that I'm a size 31 in pants. I'm not used to this other sizing system. I'm used to just, you know, 8, 10, 12 kind of sizing. But yeah, 31 is a size 12. And that's what I should have ordered, but I ordered a 30. Too bad because they were comfortable. Oh yeah, <laughs> this dress took a lot of guts to try on and to film because I usually don't show too much and there's a lot of boobage there as you can see and it's very sexy and definitely not made for where I live. I live in a small town in Arkansas. Can't really wear it anywhere. Um, maybe the gay bar because they're a little bit nicer and fun and <laughs> all of that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, super sexy. I would not wear it in a small town. Um, it's a little bit snug at the top. As you can see, I was like pulling it. This dress was very, uh, interesting. Let's just say that. It's a lot of tying down the dress. A lot of tying. No buttons or anything like that. Um... Yeah, it looks very different than it looked in pictures. Like in real life, it looks... The first thing I thought was circus. It just looks like a circus dress. It's a little too out there and kind of weird, honestly. Like on the model, it just looked like it was going to look different. And I wasn't very happy with the way that it turned out to be. It was just too circusy and too eccentric <laughs> i'm just gonna use that word um i like i actually like the shoulders part but what i don't like which i will show you in just a minute is all of the tying and they just stick out like that like it looks so weird when you're walking and then on the side you can see all of these random strings like sticking out. It's just really weird. They're just very out there and very noticeable. And you don't notice it on the model. You see in the picture on the left, not noticeable. Okay, let's get to the bottom half of the dress. I imagine them being like wings. So it's not even like a skirt. It's not a full skirt on the bottom. It's like wings. What do you think? <laughs> Thanks so much for watching my video. If you really enjoyed it, please hit that like button and the subscribe button for more videos like this. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!